Welcome everybody to Budget Drifting and SLRR Season 3. Right? It's not Season 4, it's Season 3. And you know it, your boy is Takumi Fujiwara. It's been a long way, boy. I know you guys wanted this thing. And I, I, I kept delaying because I thought that I was going to get a brand new big update so um, to Drift Monkeys Ultimate Edition because I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to play on Drift Monkeys Ultimate Edition. It's cl crashy and laggy, but it's got a lot of things to offer. So budget drifting and SLRR is, is a go. This is the first episode. So let's go to the... I was sitting here this morning. I was like, you know what? It's time. It's time to start budget drifting and SLRR. It's... I've, I've, taken too long i've taken too goddamn long plus it's december the most money you know <laughs> i gotta get that shit although every single one of my videos gets demonetized in instantly so i don't fucking know what i'm gonna do right so um let's see what cars we can get this thing doesn't look too bad i mean it looks pretty bad but it's um can i get can i check out the car can i see what kind of engine we got here what we got going on here real wheel drive very light car 235 HP. Um, oh, it should, it should be somewhere in here. M54 B30. Okay, this is a 3.0, man. This is a good engine. This is a 3 liter. This is not a real car. Why is it even here? An Alpha. Very, very the short Alpha. This looks like it should be an Eclipse, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the fake cars. Oh, an E30. E30 that already has some suspension bits. It's got, ooh, 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 mm, interesting, any, my car, a Clio, I came here with the Clio, you know, I've got, this is my daily driver, guys, it's a Renault Sport Clio, it's, it's an okay car, you know, it's a cruiser, you know, I cruise around, so the only thing that's uh, piquing my interest is this E30, but you know, I'm going to come tomorrow and see what, what they've got to offer, alright, well, I just got to Copart, let's see if there is anything else to, they got to offer, They've moved to the BMW, so I guess it's movable. It's got drum brakes in the back and no suspension whatsoever, it seems. And this is like, this is a very mangled ass BMW. I don't know, man. I think I'm going to come tomorrow again. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this is a very scuffed intro to the new season. Everybody should be excited, but I think I'm... Okay, that's... That's a... That that's costs a lot. We got $30,000 right now. Oh my god, dude. Should I do an S S13? S chassis drift car? An S, -ch S chassis drift car? It's a fucking fake car. Another E30? It's gotta... I mean, it looks like it's absolutely fucked, this E30. Also costs a lot of money. Let's see, I'm interested in this. So it's, technically speaking, it's a car. 3 326 horsepower, that's actually... SR2 liter block SR. We got a allegedly an SR engine in here. I mean, technically speaking, this, this car should be. I mean, just the chassis is the, just the value of the of the parts is nineteen thousand dollars, and they, they're offering thirteen grand for it. They're asking. I mean, that would be very JDM route to get an S, S, S13. I feel like I should re-roll one last time. I just feel like I should get something a bit more extravagant, but then again, this is, well, GMC, dude, this might not be like, this might be a wild drift car, but I think this is more of a investment into the next car, but like, $6,000 for a Porsche. I mean, to be fair, there is nothing in this car, there is no engine, no wheel drive, right, well, yeah, 17 grand for a Corvette, right, Fake car and another E30 with an engine in it. Oh, it's got a fake engine. I'm not interested in fake engines. All right, I hope this is the time. I, I'm, I'm sick of going to Copart back and forth. I don't know. A drift Civic for the first car seems like it's not the best idea. We need to, a transit. Now, this is... I'm going to... I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. A uh, fucking... A C2, I think. Yeah. Fake car, fake car, and another E30. But this one costs 19000 and still does not have a real engine. I'm not buying a car with, not a, with, a, with a fake engine. It's funny, because this, this happens every single time. I see a car I like, and I don't buy it, because I'm like, oh, something better might come around. 
Uh, and here we are stuck scrolling through fucking cars and fucking cars and... Right, so 44,000 for a fucking... This, for this absolutely mangled... It's got an S-line interior though. Mangled A4. What kind of engine is this man? Oh, we'll drive... Whoa, 700 horses. S4 V6, European V6. So it's got a fake engine. It's got a fake... Honestly, I'm interested in... This one is 44,000. And this one costs 29,000. Oh, look at how cleaner this is. Look at how cleaner this is, though. You know, what? Okay. It doesn't have an S-line interior or an S-line exterior, though. Interesting enough. All wheel drive. 148 hours. <laughs> European V6. European V6, right. Well, well, yeah, I'm not buying a 100 horsepower Audi A4 to drift. Okay, I'm seeing something. Oh, it's another Audi. Fake car. Oh my god. Some kind of fucking Bel Air, Treville, whatever the fuck they, this thing. 53,000 in mint condition though. And another Audi. Oh, I'm seeing something interesting in the background. Wow. $14,000 for a mint 135i? Or a 235i? Does it have an engine? 267 horses, that seems a bit low. <laughs> it's got an engine, but like, fucking, it's not a real engine. What, what? We got an interesting set of cars in here. An Aston Martin, the, the model looks absolutely too small. Especially next to it, AMG GT something. Oh my god. What are these? Eleven thousand dollars, motherfucker! This thing costs one million in in its current form, dude. Get the fuck out! A Honda, and an Audi, in my car, and a BMW. I think just that buying a 135i, because I need to invest in a different engine, because I'm not driving a fake engine. Plus, this shit's budget drifting. Like, whatever. It's an, it's a, like a very costly car. That. Honestly, at this point, I think I found the car we, we we should be getting. I think if this has an SR, we can make it work because fucking go, Ooh, guys, it's been a fucking while. But then again, you know, this is how real life works as well. You, you, it takes a while to find SR two liter. All right, let's buy this car. Do you want to buy this zero for? I don't. I don't even I don't, I don't even want to ask but that like this is how it works in real life as well you it takes a very long time to, you know it takes a while to find a car that you want to buy and that you vibe with so you got drum brakes in the back it says for disc for this that's a drum brake also day 14 just so to, to put it in perspective right we've got an SR20 that's good that's good SR20 is not too good so we've got a lot of money too we got too much money <laughs> We definitely got too much money right now. Right, so considering this is budget drifting SLR, I really don't think we should be um, throwing in with fucking amazing parts right from the beginning. Because it, I think six grand for buying this car is a very, very acceptable amount of money. Imagine this, like, put yourself in this situation. Close your eyes, dudes, and just fucking imagine, right? We're just out of university, we're going to uni, and... Uh, and what the fuck did I, what the fuck did I just say? We're out of high school. We just go into uni. We need a car. Dad's like, yeah, he, he, here you go, like ten thousand dollars. So that fucking, I don't know where that fucking happens. Not here. Not to me. Not to me. I got a Lancia, bro, with a rust problem. Right. We buy. We We. You buy this thing, and then you fuck. I don't even know. I lost my my track. Fucking. I don't even know what I'm talking, bro. Let's see what we are dealing with as a car. So. Tires are fucking 100%. Tires are 100%. We've got some fake Club Sport, KW Club Sport, right? So it's not the fucking the worst thing ever. Right, right, right. So first thing I would like to do, uh, I want to buy a fender for this car and a wheel. <laughs> we need a fender and a wheel. After a nice quick stroll to... What the fuck? Oh, right. I don't have a thing. I realized that I, I, I can't have, like, fucking stock wheels in the back. So I'm going to remove this. Game fucking dies in the, in, in the meanwhile. So I remove that. And I bought these, like, counterfeit um, rims. And, of course, I needed to buy drift tires. Wait, I need to fix the car. 
So he got new wheels in the rear end, although the car looks a bit... The car looks frisky as fuck, dude. Um, I got these counterfeit wheels, they look good, but they're probably going to break in the drift ses sessions. Uh, and also we need a drift tires, 100% uh, need a drift tires. Also, 18s might be a bit too big for this car. 19s, I mean, 19s might be a bit too big for this car. And I've got a Fender. Though it doesn't fit too well. Uh, you know, it's a counterfeit, it's a poly, what do you call it? It's a fucking fake Fender, right? Uh, so, I'm not, I wasn't expecting too much. $200 to get from that. Right, right, right. That's not bad at all. So, he got $5,000 actually left, surprisingly enough. And I really do think we should spend that actually refurbishing the engine. Because the engine is at 25%. 25%. $1,000 to get it to 90 Sure. Sure. I, I agree with that. Let's see the... Yep, drive distribution, LSD at maximum, the LSD, yeah, it's there, doesn't do anything. Right, well, I'm gonna fuck up, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of time to f f fuck about with these things, so, you know, with setup and whatnot, we just, we're just trying to get the car ready for its first maiden drive. Can I click on the turbine? Garrett T28, why don't we push more power, huh? I don't think we need more power, but let's just see what's going to happen. I just want to see. I'm not saying we should have more power. I'm just saying that why don't we see what happens with more power. 377 just dies at the top end. Uh, let me try lowering. Yeah, it, it's got a less of a... Yeah, just keep it like that. Uh, out of this stock turbo, I'm not going to... I'm not expecting too much from this stock turbo, so, you know, that's... That's the thing. Block blocks it. Lo lo oh, you got a launch. Okay, interesting. Idle. We got some uh, fuel injection shit. Fuel rail. I saw a fuel rail. I think I saw a fuel rail. Yeah, of course I can change that, but I'm not gonna do that because the car won't, won't handle, won't handle if I, uh, something like that. So these wheels won't cut it, obviously. The front and the real the rears kind of. Uh, they're a bit too big, I think, but I think we should go on our maiden voyage uh, to commemorate this first episode of season three of uh, a budget drifting in SLRR. What's a better place to test the brand new car? I mean, brand new. Okay, well, I was worried there. Kind of looked like it wasn't starting. No, I don't want to fucking race game. Fuck you. I think it's a bit loud, this. So. Okay, it's spinning the wheels. It's actually... I wasn't planning on actually drifting, but... Oh my god, the front wheels are... Uh... I am turning, by the way. That was me turning. Come on. Oh my... I mean, this is gonna be a fun car. But this season, for the first time ever, we've got more than one track to make money on. So, uh, that... so get hyped for that as well. We're going to be drifting on a bunch of uh, maps, and honestly, it's going to be a lot of fun. But I'm going to say, I'm going to, I think this is it, boys. I think this is it for the intro of this season, because I've got a lot of things to do in real life right now, sadly. Uh, I think I've damaged the car a bit. I think I've, da what is up with my dude, dude? What is up with my dude, dude? I'm going to remove that guy out of the fucking thing. I'm going to remove that guy out of that car. But next episode, I'm going to probably buy more wheels for the front end as well and test the car actually you know try drifting with this car but yeah guys i hope you're excited for this because i sure as hell am thank you for watching and i shall see you in the next one